about, you know, the perfect day of snowmobiling, yesterday was pretty damn close. I mean, from a weather standpoint, um, a group standpoint, the snow was awesome. The tree spacing was just for you guys. Um, and then, you know, after lunch, we got to go have some fun in that crazy steep uh, shoot. Lots of proud moments for me. I was, I got to ride behind quite a few of you guys. Uh, Mike yesterday, I'm riding behind him. He got, uh, he got hung up at the end of the day. He goes to make the turn, it won't turn. He moves his foot back, like all automatic, right? Like we not, we don't have to think about these things anymore. And that's the key, that is the key to success. Now, you know, where, where we keep going from here is the minimizing the mistakes. You know the drill, we're gonna ride sleds. Chris is gonna show us some stuff. We're probably gonna get into some more interesting terrain even than yesterday, which was a significant upgrade from the day before. Uh, everybody's a little sore, a little tired, so let's just get right into it. like the puzzle pieces are coming together. I think as I get tired, that's gonna go out the window. Dude, rushing today. Just way more smooth. Like, it was really cool. I watched you come in here, foot forward, moved it back, wanted to go up again, moved it back again, and, that, and then just like doing it all seamless. I mean, that's why we do the repetitions. Is like, we don't ever wanna have to think of where should my foot be when I'm side hilling in the tree.
we're at this point that happens every day where you're like your brain wants more you want to just get more stoked to do more fun stuff and then the body's like i can't no, <laughs> i can't I do it it's the end of the day chris is gonna give us a little speech about all right everyone take it easy we gotta get back home to the truck safe and all of a sudden we're gonna do something too sick and everyone's gonna get stuck and maybe ultra tired it's gonna be awesome though <laughs> This is Lucas. I might be fine, actually. Let's try left. Oh, that's a deep hole right here. Wow. Uh, end of the day. As you would expect, a little tired. Bite off one more. Or I think Chris said the last one. And I bit off more than I can chew, and here we go. Now I'm stuck. Wow, that is like concrete. There we go. You are free. Wow, oh, thank you. That way do you go. <laughs> Maybe that way. So, I'm really tired. <laughs> and I did that. It's like classic. Like, oh, let's just go for one more. I'm tired. I know, but let's go. Everyone's down here. Did that. Got mega stuck twice. Ran into a tree. Saw a tree down. What a day. awesome about snowmobiling in general, no matter how good you are, you will never ever beat the mountain. There's always something harder and steeper and deeper that you're going to fail at. And that's what keeps these guys coming back is when they go home, when they leave here, they look at terrain completely different. They take a skill set with them home that they didn't have before. They have this new perspective on snowmobiling and we're pretty proud to be a part of that. Were you envisioning this when you were stuck in the woods? The boys said that uh, he put in ribs in the smoker in the morning and all I've been thinking about all day is ribs. So, here we go. Day three, guys. We, uh, we talked about it this morning, but you rewind and think about how long ago it was we were at Cottonwood doing drills. And to watch the progression year after year, um, day after day, that is why we truly enjoy our job. There's a big misconception of what riding with Chris Brandt and the BBA crew is all about. And it's the reason that nobody can get in to BBA because everyone who has experienced it keeps coming back, which is you guys. So thank you very much. I hope to see you guys again next year.